welcome to the first annual Golden List Awards. I'm so hyped. I'm so ready. I am Alyssa Marie and I will be your host for this evening's show. Y'all, I'm hyped. This will be so exciting. So basically what we're going to do is a nice little rundown of my ultimate favorite 2020 products. So we're covering hair, skin, and beauty and it's going to be like in that award show style. It's going to be really fun. We're going to have our categories, we're going to have our nominees, and then we will have our ultimate number one top winners of the evening. So I'm really excited and without further ado, I guess we should just go ahead and get things started. First of all, how are y'all liking my award show hosting fit? I got, you know, the sleek black mic brush, yes. I've got the sparkly dress, we even got the girls out today. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got all the categories here on my phone and it's about to be lit. I think we should go ahead and probably start with the biggest category, which is going to be curly hair. So for this category, I am basically judging these brands and these products off of a number of different criteria. So we're looking at clean ingredients, you know, sulfate free, paraben free, just mainly curly girl friendly, like overall things that are healthy for your hair to use on a regular basis. We're also taking into account packaging, pricing, the smell of the products, and also the results and the longevity of the results that you can get from these products. So first let's start off with best curly collection. So this year we did see a ton of new curly collections come out as the natural hair community continues to thrive. We just continue to see more and more products come out. I'm here for it. I love to see it. So the nominees for best curly hair collection are Curl Smith Scalp Recipes Collection, Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Collection, the Shea Moisture Power Greens Collection, and the Agile Beauty Bowment Collection. Now all of these, I know they're all so bomb. I had the hardest time actually choosing these lists, choosing nominees. Like this is really difficult because I have tried so many products. I wanted to include everything, but I also wanted to keep this video nice and short, sweet to the point, you know, like you don't go to an award show and see like 10 nominees. So I wanted to keep it nice, simple. So we're going to stick to around four to five nominees per category. And the winner of the best curly hair collection is the recipes now seriously honestly these are really really good the reason why I actually ended up choosing Curl Smith here is because this entire collection is so well rounded even though it's called the scalp recipes collection they have a lot more than just products specifically for the scalp they also have these two amazing products which are two of my ultimate faves so they have a weightless air dry cream as well as their hydro style flexi jelly the bomb.com and really great for a bomb wash and go and I really just like the fact that these products are super lightweight but still very effective and because they are a part of the curl smith scalp recipes line you really don't have to worry about getting like a crazy amount of buildup because they're literally built to not do that they're lightweight and honestly just so perfect they smell amazing Amazing. Packaging is amazing and I just 10 out of 10 recommend. A very, very close second would have been the Adra Beauty Bowment line because that is absolutely the bomb.com. The only reason why I think Curl Smith got a little bit of an edge up is just because they have more products. I know Adra Beauty is still a little bit of a more newer brand, so I'm really excited to see what they continue to come out with in the future. Definitely a very close favorite. Like I said, all the brands and all the products that I do mention in this video are going to be my favorites anyway, even if they don't win, still love them, absolutely. But yes, the winner of Best Curly Collection goes to Curl Smith. All right, so let's go ahead and move right along to our next category, which is going to be Best Overall Wash and Go Styler. The winner of this category is basically going to be a styler that is like, just, it ticks all the boxes. You know, it's one that I reach for very often, one that kind of just covers me in all bases, you know, and one that I just, I feel comfortable using when I know I need like a bomb wash and go the one that I trust the most okay so the nominees are the Wee Dad heat and humidity gel the Camille Rose curl maker the Shea Moisture curl mousse and the Curl Smith in shower style fixer can I just say that this was a very difficult category for me because if you know me you know that I love to mix stylers it was like almost impossible for me to choose one because I love to use mousse with gel and then other gels with gels to like create the perfect combo for me you know but I had to do it all right and so the winner of the best overall wash and go styler is the We Dad Heat and Humidity Gel yes this is bae all right you guys see me talk about this all the time 
I think the reason why I go for this one is because this gel comes in two options so it comes in a stronger hold version which is this one right here the red one and then it also comes in a white bottle same gel but like a lesser Hold. But I mean both of them are perfect. They're great and this is actually a gel that I could use on its own and still get the really great results that I love. And also I live in Atlanta. Alright, if you live in Atlanta or any other kind of humid place, you know that your curls need some help when it comes to humidity. This gets the job done every time let's see it all right this is like really fun i'm having too much fun with this please go ahead and comment below if there are any categories that i didn't really hit in here you know this is the first annual golden list awards okay so i want to hear your input so like while you're watching if you think of a category that you would love for me to cover next time i'm thinking like viewers choice even maybe i have you guys vote on here or even on instagram or something just let me know just go ahead and comment all your suggestions below i would love to see it all right moving on to the next category let's talk about best shampoo this year 2020 is the only year this is like my first time actually experimenting with shampoos I started out super strict to the curly girl method and I was like co-wash only and blah 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 but as my hair got longer I noticed that it like it just required a little bit more you know a little bit deeper cleansing I guess because there's more hair more product buildup all that good stuff so I am happy to say that I do love shampoo now I'm not 100% against it anymore and now the nominees for this category are all gonna be 100% sulfate free that's where I draw the line I don't use any shampoos with sulfates in them and basically what I look for in a shampoo is something that gives me a good mixture between a really great cleanse that feels good on the scalp but also still adds some moisture back into my curls and doesn't let my hair feel stripped you know and dry okay so the ultimate winner of this category is going to be like like the best of both worlds clean but moisturized and not stripped all right so the nominees are the bread beauty supply hair wash the agile beauty bow mint shampoo pros shampoo and the shea moisture power greens shampoo honestly again i feel like i'm probably gonna say this for every category but this was so hard this is so so hard to choose but you know when i really sit down and think about it the winner of best shampoo definitely needs to go to Adra Beauty Bow Mint Moisturizing Shampoo. Let me tell you. This stuff right here, amazing. And you want to know why this is better than all the rest? The oils that are in here are, ooh, they just give your scalp like a really nice tingly cleanse. And it's just, it feels amazing to my scalp. I find that when I actually use this shampoo, I don't have any itchy scalp issues. I don't have to worry about buildup. I don't know what kind of magic is in here. Must be the baobab. I don't know, but it's so good. So it has the baobab, wintergreen, spearmint, and peppermint oils. 10 out of 10 recommend. Also, she's black owned, sis. All right. All right, so moving right along to our next category. This is going to be the best curl reviving treatment. When you're looking to really give your curls that pick me up and bring them back to life, this is gonna be that product that I'm constantly reaching for that gives me consistent results every single time and helps me love my curls again when I just feel absolutely frustrated by them and wanna chop them all off. So the nominees are the Bread Beauty Supply Hair Mask, the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Mask, the Olaplex Number no. 3 Hair Perfector, and the Pros Pre-Shampoo Mask. I felt like this one was a little bit unfair. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm saying it again. This was really, really difficult because I use all of these consistently all the time. They stay in my bath, actually, not just in my bathroom, they stay in my shower with me because I use them that frequently. Like all four of these, consistent AF, love them to pieces. But if I did have to pick a winner, if you put a gun to my head and said, girl, you have to pick one, the winner would be... The Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Mask. Okay, so you guys hear me talk about this all the time. All the time. If you are a regular here, you already know about this. And you probably knew that I was going to pick this. And honestly, it was mostly between this and the Olaplex, but also Pros, that pre-shampoo mask, the bomb.com. I actually use all three of those in one wash and go and get the most bomb results ever so that's why it was really really extra difficult for me to pick one out of this category but this one is the real deal slip is there it's the perfect balance between moisture and protein and it gets my curls right every single time whenever i go on a trip this is going to be the must-have product that comes with me because it's just that good it smells amazing 
And also, black and female owned. I mean, just does it get any better than that? <sighs> Honestly though, it's been... <sighs> It's been stressful trying to pick a winner for these categories because all of these are my favorites like literally all and they all like I all use them all together for like the perfect regimen, you know Anyways moving right along. All right, so the next category is a super super special category Okay, and it's gonna be the last but certainly not least Category from the hair section so and so the category is best curly hair brand of the year Okay, the best curly hair brand of out of 2020. So the nominees are Curl Smith, Adro Beauty, Pros, Rio Geo, and Bread Beauty Supply. Yes, I had to add in an extra nominee here. We had to do five because I just couldn't leave any of these out. These are... If you haven't tried one of these, you need to try it because they're all amazing. The women who stand behind majority of these brands are just amazing. And all five of these are basically super, super well-rounded curly hair brands that I trust 100%. As in, whatever they come out with, I know that it's going to be clean, it's going to have good ingredients, the packaging is going to be bomb, it's going to smell good. You know, like these are all five major brands that I absolutely am obsessed with, okay? But there is one brand that I did pick to be the winner of this category, mainly because they have the most well-rounded line. I wanted to pick the brand that had a huge selection that was super well-rounded and you could literally just say boom I'm gonna get this brand and you can have your wash day essentials your styling essentials your refreshing essentials everything you could ever possibly need from one brand okay so the winner of the best curly hair brand of 2020 is yeah honestly Carl Smith came at a really good time for me I just discovered them this year right after the diva curl scandal we all went through this whole thing of trying to find our diva curl product replacements and I gotta say curl Smith hit the mark for me and the reason why curl Smith just has one little edge above all of the rest in this category again is because they just have everything they got cleansers deep conditioners regular conditioners, leave-in conditioners, stylers, gels, like they've got everything that you've ever needed for curly hair and that's the main reason why I chose them. Again, absolutely love all the other brands, could not live without the other brands as well, but I just think that, again, if I had to pick a winner, Curl Smith is gonna be it. And I also think they're a little bit of an innovative company. They came out with their hair makeup this year where I was able to test out different colors in my hair without committing to nasty chemicals, you know? Like, I just, I love this brand wholeheartedly. I think it was amazing. But don't forget about the other ones though, okay? The other nominees, amazing. So that is basically going to wrap up our hair section of the evening, okay? And now we're going to go ahead and move on to makeup. All right, so for makeup, I'm choosing products and brands that, you know, give me an amazing overall look, some that give me longevity of wear. Nobody wants to look cute in the day and then two hours later their makeup's sopping off. You know, I really like to use especially like complexion products that last long. They look bomb when you put them on and they still look bomb eight hours later. Packaging and ease of use for products is also very, very important to me. As well as pricing and shade range, all right? You also need to make sure that it is inclusive of everybody. So the first category under makeup is going to be most flawless complexion. So for my complexion products, as much as I love them to be flawless, you know, help me get my life together, let me look smooth, even toned, as much as I love that look, I need it to feel like it's not there. I just need to look good without feeling like I have like five tons of makeup on my face. So yes, for this category, these complexion products are gonna be comfortable to wear, beautiful to look at, they're gonna last long, and they're just gonna make you look bomb every single time. So the nominees are the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation, the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation, the Oma Beauty Soft Matte Foundation, and the brand new Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. All of these, again, super amazing, but there is one that kind of stood out to me the most. I think when I first used this product, I died and went to heaven. When I took pictures after, I was like, where has this product been all my life? And I have just been obsessing over it ever since. And so the winner of best flawless complexion is gonna go to 
the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Now, if you're wondering, I do wear shade Tahoe, and it is the absolute most perfect shade for me. This is actually the foundation that I have on right now. This is the bomb.com. I have to say that this was a very, very close tie with the Charlotte Airbrush Flawless Foundation. The reason why I decided to pick NARS is because they had a more inclusive shade range. So both of them, super bomb, amazing finish when I really want that flawless look, but I really, really enjoyed the inclusivity from the shade range of the NARS foundation. It's just so good. It's just so, so good. I can't even explain it to you. But right now, I genuinely feel like I'm not even wearing anything. It's super, super comfortable. Not super matte. Like, I don't usually go for matte foundations, but you can still get a nice little glow. You know, a little do with this foundation. I just, mm, mm. It's, you need it in your life. All right, so moving right along to my second favorite part of makeup, which is lipsticks. So this category is going to be for best lipstick and it's kind of similar to the complexion category because again, I love a flawless lipstick, one that's opaque, you know, the color really pops out, shows through, looks amazing, but I also need the lipstick to feel super, super comfortable to wear. So the nominees are Smashbox Cream to Matte Lipstick in the shade Out Loud, Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unveil, Galactic Liquid Lipstick in the shade Zamir, and Bite Beauty Lip Crayon in the shade cognac I'm gonna repeat myself again this was hard this is hard because I love lipstick so basically what I ended up thinking about in order to choose a number one winner was to think about which one am I gonna reach for the most often which one is the most comfortable and when I really just want a bomb look it is a shade that really goes with majority of things that I wear it complements my skin tone comfortable to wear it's opaque it looks bomb and so the winner is gonna have to be Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unveil. Honey, baby, is what I have on right now. So good. It's like such a good, delicious brown. It's not too dark, not too light nude. You know, it just works for every single occasion. Literally, it works for the fall, the winter, the spring, the summer, every single time. When I'm unsure, like, oh, what do I do with this look? Boom. Unveiled. You can't go wrong with it. It is literally so good. I also love their packaging. It's just so beautiful, unique. I mean, Fenty, come on now. <laughs> Fenty always comes for your wigs whenever they come through with new products and their Stunna Lip Paints, even the other colors in there like Uncensored and just all of them. This formula is amazing, super comfortable, and look. No transfer. She can feel comfortable kissing your boo, whatever you need to do. I love it. All right, so the next category is a very important category and it's gonna be for a brand. So this is going to be the best clean beauty makeup brand. That is majorly important to me because one year, like it was like a few years ago, I went on Google and I just, you go down a rabbit hole when you start to search like toxic ingredients in makeup. Like, it, it's terrifying. The ingredients that are allowed to be just put out on the market. Like, it's crazy. When you really do the research, like, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, when it comes to clean beauty brands, I feel a lot more relaxed. I feel, like, so much more happy to kind of reach for those products on a more regular basis. So, that's basically why this category is a huge one for me and super, super important. So, the nominees are Ilia, Kosas, Lawless, and Range Beauty. One of these brands are kind of a little bit more closer to my heart. And the reason is because they're black owned and female owned, honey. So the winner of best clean beauty brand is Range Beauty. I mean, I just love their products. They are a newer, smaller kind of brand, but genuinely, I really, truly believe that their products can stand up to some of the brands that have been out here for decades, all right? It's not often that you find a black-owned brand that is worried about clean ingredients, but Range Beauty does that. They don't skimp on quality either. It is so good. And they not only have like makeup, they have um, this really nice body glow product that I love. Like they're just a really, really nice, well-rounded brand, up and coming, definitely a brand to watch. So yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend, absolutely love. Congratulations to you, Range Beauty. All right, so the final category for makeup is going to be favorite makeup trend. I feel like this year we did a little bit of experimenting. So 
The nominees for this year's favorite beauty trend are the dewy cream blush cream highlighter situation, you know, as opposed to powder, bronze goddess glam, fox eyes, and also pop of color eyeliner. So while I absolutely love all of these and tend to do them all, if I really had to pick a winner and pick which one that I use the most, that is going to have to be the dewy cream blush and cream highlighter situation. I definitely much prefer a dewy kind of glow, the wet look that just looks like a lot more natural, like it's like you're just glowing from within and mm, you just, you kind of woke up like that. And I feel like cream blush and cream highlighter gives you, it just gives it to you, the whole entire look. It's a whole vibe. You can literally never go wrong with it. I will actually point out one of my favorite cream blushes is this one by Girlactic. So this is called their Cheeky Tint and Glow in the shade Lamar more let me open it up it actually has a blush and highlighter in here both cream bond.com definitely favorite trend of 2020 all right so now it is time to move on to skin for this i am again very much into ingredients i do love skincare brands that have amazing packaging i'm not really too worried about price for this category because honestly i will spend the money if it's gonna give me the perfect skin. I'm that kind of person, right? I would rather spend the money on my skincare, get my skin looking right, and then skimp on cheaper makeup. But I do have sensitive-ish combination type skin, and I am acne prone, so sometimes some certain products and some certain brands I've actually found can break me out. So all of these products, all of these brands that I'm gonna mention here, definitely 110% do not break me out. I've used them on a consistent basis for months on months on months. These are gonna be products that have actually changed my skin for the better and just Ooh, made me so happy. I feel like this year I've actually kind of experienced some of my best skin yet. All right, so the first category is most life-altering products. I mean life-changing. I mean holy grail. I mean when I use this consistently, I noticed I turned into a different person who actually has good skin. So the nominees are Dr. Dennis Gross Exfoliating Peels, Drunk Elephant Maracuja Oil, Youth to the People Detox Mask, and the Tatcha Violet C Serum. So as you can see, these are a range of different types of products from pads to masks to serums. So again, I kind of use all of these products, but for this category, there is one that stands above the rest when it comes to most life altering. And so the winner is gonna have to be the Dr. Dennis Gross Exfoliating Peels. Listen to me. These are, they're, they're a winner of the life changing products category for a reason. This is what keeps my skin going. It keeps it alive. I, I don't know what I did before I had these in my life, honestly. I'm now at the point where I buy the packaging that gives you 60 days worth of products because it's that good and I honestly cannot live without it. This tackles all skincare concerns, texture, uneven skin tone, I would say even acne because of its exfoliating properties. This stuff has really brought me all the way together. It is, mmm, it's just so good. All right, so the next category is going to be best cleanser. Cleansers are very important to me. I'm very, very picky when it comes to cleansers because, again, kind of like my shampoo, I need it to be very deeply cleansing without actually stripping my skin of the essential oils that it really actually needs. So the nominees for best cleanser are the Dermalogica Micro Exfoliant, the Tatcha Rice Wash Cleanser, the Pharmacy Whipped Greens Oil Free Cleanser, and the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. This was a hard one, a hard, like an absolutely hard choice. So what I did when picking the winner, I went for one that is well-rounded, again, one that kind of ticks all the boxes, and one that stays with me in the shower that I'm literally using very, very often. And so the winner of the best cleanser category is Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. So good! Woohoo! It takes all the boxes. It does remove any like extra traces of makeup. It is very creamy. It's foamy. It's delicious. I do genuinely really, really love this. All right, so the next category is going to be for the best acne treatment products. I do battle with hormonal acne from time to time, so this category is very important to me because 
hormonal acne can be something that's very, very difficult to actually prevent. So what you have to do is start thinking about, okay, how are you going to treat the acne once it's here? Because you know it's coming. So what I have chosen for this category are a bunch of products that really help to treat the acne, help me to get rid of it as soon as possible without actually drying out my skin. Because that's one of my pet peeves with acne products, okay? So... The nominees for best acne treatment are the Verst Keep the Peace Acne Cleanser, the Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Spot Treatment, the Kate Somerville Foam Activated Mask, and the Dr. Dennis Gross Exfoliating Peels. Again, so another super hard category because I genuinely use all of these, all four of these, all together to attack the acne 100%, I'm telling you, all of them, okay? So if you have acne and you're really trying to look for a nice system, definitely suggest all four. But if there's one that's like the clear winner that I absolutely 1000% cannot live without when I do have a breakout, that is going to be the Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Spot Treatment. This drying treatment is, it kills acne. All right, it's the acne killer. That's what they should have called it because it's so good. Even if you're just having like the first signs of acne, like the pus hasn't even shown at the top, but you can feel that it's forming, put that on every single night. I'm telling you, I swear it shortens that life of that little acne bump. I swear by this, I've used it on my dad when he got a random bump, on my mom. Both of them got hooked on this product because it's just that good at just drying out that one little spot that you need to like get rid of as soon as possible, you know? So this is gonna be our final category for skin, which is favorite body products brand. I could not do the skincare category without including body products because I'm actually low-key obsessed with body products. I love me a good juicy body cream. While I have combination skin on my face, the rest of my skin tends to be pretty dry. So for, for years, I actually hunted to find the right body creams, the right lotion. And again, I really like to go for those brands that are more clean, less toxic ingredients, you know, brands that I can kind of trust because body creams are definitely something that you use a lot of. You use it all over your body and you use it every single day, sometimes twice a day. So I like to make sure that I'm using something super clean, something I can trust. And so all four brands that are nominated for this category are gonna embody all of that. So the nominees are L.E.L. Beauty, Necessaire, Soap and Glory, and Lush Cosmetics. Ooh, another really difficult category because again, I use all of these brands, all of their products in a really nice, neat rotation that is just perfect. But the winner for this category will definitely have to be Lush, oh my gosh, I love me some Lush. I, ooh, I, I love the fact that they're clean, they fight animal testing, their products come in recyclable packaging, just everything about the brand just makes me so happy, and then for their products itself to be bomb, it's amazing, and they have everything you could ever need, face masks, body creams, body scrubs, moisturizers, toners, like literally anything you would need for your skin anywhere on your body, Lush has it, and I just absolutely love it. My favorite products are their body lotions. You guys have heard me talk about the charity pot before. I love, love, love to do the charity pot. Not only do I love the product itself, but I like to use their charity pot as a way to kind of give back to the community. I also love this one, which is their Sleepy Body Lotion, Lavender Goodness. I love this for nighttime. It's just the bomb.com. Honestly, you literally can't go wrong with Lush. Love their bath bombs. I, just, I love Lush period. Okay. So with that, we are brought to the conclusion of the Golden List Awards. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. This is hella fun. We are definitely making this an annual thing, so you can 1000% look forward to seeing this at the end of 2021, and it will be kind of cool to see what products have still been nominated. Do we have some winners that are just consistent every single year? I'm really, really excited to make this bigger and better. Again, please feel free to comment below your suggestions for me next time, other categories that I should include. Like give me your ideas i want to hear all of it and make this fun for all of us thank you guys so much for watching and again if you are new here and you like what you see if you enjoyed this and you don't want to miss a new upload ever again you're going to want to make sure you subscribe and then also don't forget to hit that little thumbs up if you did enjoy this thank you guys so much for watching happy happy new year 2021 is the year we rise let's go let's get it i love y'all and i'll catch y'all in the next one bye